All right, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're gonna be going ahead and taking a look at the Patara no item run. Now I know this stage has been out for quite a long time, so I just gotta go back and cover it because you know we have, uh, I've said a hundred times that I wanna go back and make sure I cover all the different uh, Extreme Super Battle Road and Super Battle Road no item runs on the channel. So I just wanna make sure that we do that. Uh, one thing that we're going to be taking advantage of in this video in specific is we're going to be taking full advantage of the um, EZA for the, th uh, what was it, three year Vegito, right? So that 180% lead as well as the additional stat buffs that he get is, gets is gonna make this a whole lot easier. Um, shouldn't have many troubles at all. Like I said, I've already kind of recorded this one so I am doing this one in post. Um, this run goes pretty swimmingly, or smoothly I guess. Swimmingly is kind of a weird adjective, but um, what ends up happening is I think one time we have like a little bit of a uh, HP scare where we get down to like 90K or something like that. But you know, you should see that the overall strategy we're gonna do is gonna work out pretty well. Uh, let STR Vegito do his thing, Int Vegito do his thing, uh, you know, Supreme Kai and Kabito, they go ahead and do their thing. Uh, AGL Vegito just can't get super attacked and he'll be gaming, obviously, and it's the same thing with Physical Vegito. Uh, Physical Vegito Blue, that is. If he is doing his thing, uh, he'll be fine. So I really have nothing to worry about, just so long as the uh, RNG factors play in our favor. That being, like, the dodging from the uh, Int Vegito, the additional attacks from STR Vegito, and stuff like that, right? So what kind of makes this one unique in, in the sense of like uh, the fights that you're going to be watching, right? That this is like one of those stages where the people that argue about how, you know, turn six isn't a bad active skill condition. This is like one of those stages where it's like, oh yeah, I do get to turn six because uh, you do fight that uh, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and STR Vegito obviously is not going to be nearly as effective against him without crits. So you just kind of find yourself in that position where it actually is... Uh, one of the Super Battle Road fights where you could potentially get up to turn six, right? Especially if you don't have a lot of the Rainbow Stars, you don't have the EZA for the, uh, the three-year Vegito, obviously, if you're on the global side yet. So it is like that one rare instance where it actually could be that you go till turn six in a Super Battle Road fight. Because usually these things take uh, three to four turns. And you can see we are not off to a good start, right? Like we're already at, uh, what is that, 90K? It's kind of small here in Premiere. I can't see it. But we're already down to like 30% HP, so... I get to the point where I'm like, okay, let's just stall out and try to get to the uh, fusion with uh, STR Vegito, right? Because that'll give us that heal up real quick. Because especially in a fight like this, there's just no way we're going to get to turn six. We all know that. And uh, yeah, look at this HP we're down to. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, we got really jacked up right there. So, um, you know, you do see that super attack right there from uh, physical Veku. But we do know that, you know, obviously STR Vegito is going to take care of him. Uh, what do I do? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, oh, I see, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I'm risking it for the biscuit, I think, with the dodge or something like that. I don't know. I did this yesterday, and I already forget. Oh, uh, yeah, we do rely on the dodge for sure. <laughs> they don't do it. Okay, GG. Yeah, I, I don't know how much HP we're at. We're like, we're like really, really low. We have to be. Maybe the next turn, what I think I do is like, I just try not to get the super attack or anything like that. Just to kind of make sure that we, uh, yeah, because like obviously we uh, we're, look how low on the HP we're at. We're under 10%. We're at like 5% HP at this point. We're at like 20k. It's supposed to be a no item run. Goodness gracious. Uh, so let's see. I'm just interested to see what I do. I don't know how I get out of this. Uh, maybe I... Huh? <laughs> I don't know how the hell I survived this. It had to have just been the dodges, right? And then I get the stun or something like that. No? It's, I guess that just shows you how powerful the uh, three-year Vegito is, right? Like, he's taking double digits right there, and then we get the stun in the seal. And then we're like, all right, I just need this Vegito to not crit, and then we're gaming, right? Because we'll obviously be able to get that 50% uh, heal right here. Yep, perfect. All right, so now we're in business, right? Because we got Int Vegito, or STR Vegito out. We got Int Vegito doing his thing. Uh, yeah, you're not, just a spoiler alert, you're not going to see Int Vegito in this video, just because, like, you know, we're almost to turn six, but I, I intentionally stalled, right? So... Um, turn five is about as far as you're going to go, especially when you get unlucky like I just did on that turn where you're sitting at like, you know, 10% HP. Uh, but there you go. That's phase one down. We're obviously this is sped up a little bit because this is like a 15 minute recording and I don't want to drag you on for a video like this for 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. Um, this is an interesting predicament. Yeah, so what I think I go for is the stun on go tanks. I'm, I'm watching real slow. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, what do I want to do right here? Yeah, I should. what I should have done is went for the seal on um, Gogeta because he does super uh, Kabito or Vegito. Or I forget. He supers one of the two. I know he does. Uh, but obviously, I do the stun on this guy because we are the seal and the stun or whatever he's going to get right here because I can't risk um, him getting hit 
uh, him hitting Vegeta with the super because that just means our runs over right so yeah right here I knew Gogeta super and I was thinking like oh maybe I should have stunned him or sealed him but uh, 140k especially when you have like 600,000 HP is definitely not too bad it's definitely a manageable number that you can uh, you can work around especially in the extreme super battle road sets like that's not too bad at all yeah so next turn go tanks is done for and then we can just go ahead and tee off on Gogeta which will obviously help us out a lot I think Vegito or Vegito dodges a bunch right here yeah I think he has three dodge, and he I think he dodges all of them, yeah. I can actually pull that up on my uh, on my phone, because this is in post, right? I can see what, what I did. I don't think he has dodge in his kit, does he? He's got uh, three dodge, yeah. Oh my god, voice crack. <laughs> Let me look. Let me look. Uh, AGL Vegitos, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't, um, he doesn't have any dodge. That was three dodge right there three times in a row. There you go. That's all the proof you need, right? He's gaming for sure. And then there you go. More dodging right there. Yeah, like, a, it's just, I think that Vegito has like eight dodge though. I, I loaded him up with dodge on purpose just because I knew that would um, be beneficial. So I think it's either in this fight or the next fight, I get into a position where, uh, the Dokkan attack, I try to avoid it because I want to have it for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta portion, but I don't think I can. I just grabbed too many typing orbs. Yeah, so right here, I'm checking defense. I'm like, all right, let me just do this. Yeah, now, I'm all over the place. What the hell do I do right here? Yeah, so I'm like, okay, let me bank on the dodging and then go ahead and grab that. Yeah, so maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the type orb right there and went with like the STR one or something like that. I know what I'm doing now. What I did again was the same thing that I did in the last fight where I want to stall and get Vegito out so I can try and uh, get the HP healing and then obviously we're going to have the Dokkan attack as well. So now we definitely need the healing because we took 300k from a super or whatever. So things are definitely getting a little bit spicy right here. Um, this is as close as we get to a health scare in this fight. And what what, what really becomes uh, nail biting right here is if Vegito had done like a triple or a quad super we would have been screwed right because he would have done a lot of damage. So. Uh, right here, you're going to see me kill App real quick because I try and avoid getting the Dokkan attack, but there's just no way for me not to get it. Uh, yeah, so right here, it's going to be a quick cut. Yeah, we try again. <laughs> then I see it, it, it doesn't matter anyway. I try and go all the way around, right? Yeah, so you could see one non-type orb and it was still too much. So no matter what, we were getting the Dokkan attack right here. The low battery cheese, that guarantees the win, right? So see that we're clearly moving through this one. It's not too bad. It, it, it's like one of those things, right, where... You get that 180% leader and just everything changes because this team has so much HP and it's not even like nearly HP'd out, right? Like there's a lot of TURs in here. We got AGL Vegito, we have uh, Ink Kabito Kai, we have Tech Vegito, and then obviously STR Vegito and the Ink Vegitos, but you know, this team could have so much more HP. Like this is one of those teams like that competes with the 200% leader skills, right? Where you're sitting at like 820,000 HP if you just go all in on HP. Yeah, so I think that says either 640 or 540. Like I said, it's really small on my screen, so I can't see it, but... Yeah, so here we have uh, reached the scene of the crime, right? Where uh, this is where you're actually going to see turn six uh, in Super Battle Royale, where you have one enemy like this, and like one of your main damage dealers is someone that, uh, what is it? He can, uh, he's type disadvantage, right? Because STR Vegito obviously is like the, uh, the workhorse with all the crits that he's doing and stuff like that, and then he gets the healing. But uh, right here is where things get a little bit spooky because, uh, you know, they, they're supposed to stun and they didn't stun. But we did get the attack and defense lower that we get. So I guess that helps, but you know, obviously, ideally, we would have wanted to have a stun right there. It would have definitely, definitely helped. Because now we actually have to worry about it going into the next turn. It's like, oh, am I going to be able to make it out of this? And if we take the wrong super, it's all she wrote. But I think we do have a turn right here where this Tech Vegito does get a triple super off, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but this kind of goes to show you the power of that easy A. I think he works better in this sense because he's supporting Int Vegito and STR Vegito. So, uh, you know, it, it, it just helps out a lot. So, yeah. Hmm. That's a lot of attacks on STR Vegito, but uh, I think we're good. I mean, you're seeing this video, right? So obviously it works, but I can definitely see how that can get scary. How many times have I said definitely in this recording? A lot. I'll, it's, it's like a tick or something at this point. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. I'm going to try not to say it for the rest of the recording. There's about two minutes left. But we are uh, we're cooking. Yeah, so this was the, uh, the situation. There you go. With no items right there, 46K. I'm trying so hard to not say definitely right now. It's killing me. Um, yep, so we need the crits right there, and this is where we need Vegito to do his double and triple super uh, routine that he does. Uh, even though I built him a full crit, uh, 
He's I, it's, it's like he's got eight dodge, like three additional, like 23 crit or something like that. I'd have to look. But um, he's effective. I found him to triple super a lot, considering he's only got three additional. Yeah, so he's got 24 crit and eight uh, dodge. So uh, I forget. I think we go two more turns, right? Because there's still a minute and 30 left on this. So uh, we are cooking at this point. Uh, yeah, so what we're looking for is the stun, and then that's all she wrote. Like, because if we get the stun, then we have nothing to worry about going into the next turn. And that should be uh, the end of the game for us. Yep, stun, attack, and defensive lower. So he's been def attack lowered like three or four times at this point. So we're uh, we're getting to that point where he's going to do nothing. But even with the attack lowering, he is stunned. Then we get a 4.3 mil. But he obviously can hit way high, harder than that. But uh, we're not running him on a team that's like optimized for him or anything like that. But, you know, I can't imagine that AGL Vegito is a terrible linking partner for him. But he's obviously not the best. So... Yep, there's about a minute left on this bad boy. So this is probably the last turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where uh, Vegito does the triple super and finishes the job for us. So this was the uh, Patara no item run. Uh, nothing too tricky, especially after the seven year on the global side. You guys should be able to cook this pretty easily. Uh, I came back and did it on my first try just because I wanted to make sure that I had it covered because, you know, I do do all the SBR and ESBR stages over here. So uh, Let's go ahead and see triple, <laughs> triple. Let's go ahead and see Tech Vegito do his thing. Quick triple super as a floater all around the 2 million range. That's not terrible, but it's also not great. But uh, that's all I got for you guys in this video today. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on Dokkan content like this that I try to post on the regular. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'm out.